Hello world and all who inhabit it, it is I, the Great Sayran, and I'm just curious, have you ever played an Ubisoft game? It's hard to imagine you answering no to that question. Ubisoft is a huge second party publisher slash developer and they've made some great titles in the past, but as of late, their quality has fallen off dramatically. So today we're gonna play one of their latest titles and see if they have anything left in the tank. Ubisoft has been under heat for a while. Whether it's for a buggy game, hella microtransactions, or delisting a single player game from digital storefronts, Ubisoft isn't really known to be the fan favorite studio. Recently, they even announced the delay of Avatar Frontiers of Pandora into 2023, but let's be honest, we hadn't seen anything about that game since it was initially announced. I don't think anyone thought that game was coming out in 2022. Now, delays happen all the time, but Ubisoft also mentioned to investors the cancellation of Splinter Cell VR and Ghost Recon Frontlines, as well of some smaller titles that hadn't been announced yet. It seems like all Ubisoft has to rely on is Skull and Bones and Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope, a game I'm genuinely looking forward to. It's just crazy to depend on only two titles for the rest of your fiscal year. But there is another title recently released on Nintendo Switch called Roller Champions and it could save them. Probably not, but I couldn't think of anything else to make a video on, so we're gonna play this. But before we play the game, please be sure to like and subscribe as that really supports the channel. I greatly appreciate it. I think the Switch is a really good benchmark as to whether the game is fun or not. There are so many games that aren't fun on other consoles, but they're really fun on the Switch. So we're going to try it on here and we're going to see if it's really up to snuff. Strike one Ubisoft, I don't want to sign up for an account just to play your game. <laughs> I'm joking, I already have an account. I'm pretty sure I just cut out the first half. I just realized that all the music that they were playing, great music by the way, but it's all licensed, which means that if I put this on YouTube, YouTube is going to strike it down immediately so i did put it on streamer mode and that cuts the music so i will have some music in the background playing because it's just weird to not have music you start off playing jane i mean i'm wearing a white t-shirt and my shirt says fresh meat which i still think is very inappropriate uh but you can get helmets they cost money so let's just look at this helmet okay this one helmet costs 250 wheels if you go to the wheels it's about two dollars and fifty cents so two dollars and fifty cents per cosmetic is kind of wild i don't I don't know um you may be able to in game get wheels much easier so you know that may just be kind of them asking for more money if you don't feel like grinding but two dollars fifty cents for one cosmetic is not the craziest i've heard but uh, you know wow everybody's so like decked out and i'm just like a random guy in a white t-shirt <laughs> oh they're on coney island with the glizzies Okay. Okay, nice. Oh, it's behind us. We need that. Yeah. We need that. Yeah. We need that. We need that. I don't know. I'm orange team, right? I think I'm orange team. Okay, I'm just nervous because I don't want my team to be. Is the goal open? Please be open. Yes! Boom! Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Instant replay? I don't like that. No, I don't want that. Skip that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? Okay, okay, okay. Get me back in the game. Is that us? Ah! I need that. Oh, okay, we got it, 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 we got it. I need a support teammate. Teammates got it? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. No, I'm out here kicking folks, and it's like, get out of here, B. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Are we, are we getting? Are we? No! Oh man, blue got it. I'm like trying to throw bowls and like, boom, got him. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm so nervous. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Grab the ball. Grab the ball. Let me circle around. Make sure I got teammates back. Wait, where's teammate at? Oh, you have to start at one? Shoot the ball. Shoot the ball. Oh, he missed. He missed. He missed. Ay! 
I'm gonna have to circle around. No, I'm terrible at throwing the shoot the ball. Uh, I come on, come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> Yo, I hate that when I tackle someone, I like die, and there's no lock on. There we go. Hey, we're gonna have to go around, bro. We're gonna have to go around. Ah, I, I, I couldn't. There was nothing I could do, bro. They were like surrounding me. They were like, yeah. Boom. Got it. Got it. Boom. Got him. Now, I imagine that this game probably sounds and plays a lot like it's more fun when you have the actual licensed music. But, you know, this is this is going on YouTube. I can't play that. Like the concept is cool. Swing me. Boom. Got him. Get it, get it, get it. Like the concept of the game is dope. There we go. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. He's trying to like end the game by going for a three point and it's like, no, we don't need that. We, we just need to get in the lead because if they get a three point, then we're done. So it's like anybody's game still. Oh, there's a time limit on the game. No. Get it, get it, get it. Yes. Good job. I'm trying to just throw bows. I'm just throwing bows. We got it. Nice. Oh, wait, it's sudden death. Are you serious? Bro, I have no idea what's going on. Like, where's the ball? <laughs> What are we doing right now? No! Yes! Whew. Where the ball go? Where the ball go? Where the ball go? Please. Come on, Biscuit. Oh, no. It's over your head. That's all right. That's my teammate. I'm sorry. No. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Okay. We good. Bro. I don't know if that's like a sudden death thing where you're losing or what. Oh my gosh, that was intense. That ending, I thought we were gonna lose and I wasn't prepared to lose. I thicky. And then there's me and my knee pads are different colors. Like, what? <laughs> the dancing. You know, I really didn't expect to have fun with that, but that was actually pretty fun. Let's check out Metacritic because I heard this game was bad and that wasn't that bad. So the Switch version only has one review and it's from Nintendo Life, whom I do trust, and they gave it a 40. So let's come back and read that. But for now, let's go to PC and look at the review that this um, this publication gave it. This is this comes from Terra Gamer. All free, to, all free to play games must have some sort of minimal competitive element to sustain themselves. Yes, we know that microtransactions and battle passes help a lot, but a community that plays does more. But a community that plays does more and it seems that Roller Champion can attract many players. This is in another language and this is being translated. So go with me. So here's the summary. Is it worth playing Roller Champions? Well, we got to the point where I should or should not recommend a free to play. Many believe that the idea is very simple. boils down to a resounding no. <laughs> but there are others who, who like to enjoy the competition and a different proposal from the others, which may not have to do with a shooting battle royale. Okay. So they're saying that a lot of people in the office were saying just no, don't play this game. But they're saying that it's different from normal battle royales or normal free to play games, which are shooting battle royales like Apex Legends, Warzone, things like that. Roller Champions is, is a competitive proposition with a solid foundation. Its rules and games mechanics are very clear and enjoyable. Playing with strangers will be difficult, but a, in a team of friends, a lot of communication, something very exciting can happen. I'm adding words because like I said, this is translated. Its progression system is fair, and it seems that it can have a community that supports it. Okay. The game will be interesting for many as long as they have someone to play with. Going with strangers is complicated because of the lack of communication that can lead to frustration. That's how team games are. If you have someone to join with, go ahead, play it. You won't lose anything, and you can have a great time. Are you going to play this title? Okay, cool. All right, so they gave it a, a good score. Now, let's go to Nintendo Life's 
<laughs> review of them just crapping all over this game. Uh, let's see if we can just skip the conclusion. All right, so we're gonna jump down to the conclusion so we can round off this video. Conclusion, Roll the Champions has potential. The core gimmick and gameplay are both lots of fun and it's, satisfi it's satisfying blasting your enemies across the court with a drop kick as they're about to score three points against you. However, it lacks to pretty much every other department and there's just not enough content here to satisfy anyone. Add in the performance and blur blurry visual issues on Switch, and we can't really recommend the game on Nintendo's console in its current state. It's free to play, so it's worth a try. If anything we've mentioned sounds interesting, but unless some serious updates are made to this version, you're definitely best, best off playing it on a different platform, if at all possible. So they're saying from the Switch perspective that it is worse and it's not the best experience, which I mean, that's the Nintendo Switch. You know, we've accepted this as people who enjoy playing games on Nintendo Switch. I didn't have that many issues playing it. I wasn't playing it natively on my monitor. I was actually using my capture card, which sometimes very rarely will have a frame dip or drop just because it's a it's not directly into my monitor. It's a capture card. Um, but the same thing would happen if I was playing Tales of the Rise on my PS5. So it didn't seem out of the ordinary, but Okay. I've never noticed that Nintendo Life does this. They have the joys and the cons. Joys, core gameplay is fun, that is true. Has potential to be great, that is also true. Surprisingly decent licensed soundtrack, very true. I did enjoy the music before I had to cut it because this is going on YouTube and I don't wanna be demonetized or whatever. Uh, it'll cost you nothing but time to try. That's always the, the joy when it comes to free to play games. Let's look at cons. Poor performance on Switch. Looks terrible on Switch. So performance is gonna be uh, frame pacing, uh, frame rate, things like that. Looks terrible, it's just the blurriness or um, that they mentioned, or uh, if it's, as you can see on my screen, there wasn't a lot of anti-aliasing. I did see that, but I'm used to games looking like that on Switch because it's the Switch. Like, come on, it's it's 2015 hardware and it's now 2022. Like, you know. Ugly and bare bones created character options. That is true, that pissed me off because like, Making different skin tones isn't necessarily about getting this exact skin tone. I don't expect you to get my exact skin tone, but they just gave you a color. Like your person was this color. They didn't try to like make a skin tone or things even remotely close to skin tone colors. That's always a turn off for me, but I'm black. That happens to me in every game. So I just, you know, uh, but it is a huge con, uh, con and then lack of content all around. Besides the shop and the uh, quick match, there pretty much was it um there could be a ranked mode there could be an ultra competitive mode but i think that they should throw in some modes where instead of a circular track you maybe have a square track and there's different ramps and other things you can like the original ramp that i did a tutorial in it looks like it would be great for just a map um so they probably want to add some more maps different shapes different sizes um add items or something like that like get wacky with it like add like a I know it's like Mario Kart, but add a banana or or a traffic cone or something and, and, and be able to drop items and or use weapons to hit the opponent, like a baseball bat or a mace or a rubber ducky or something. Just get wacky with it. Um, I think that would be a really good addition to this game. I, I think the game has a really good foundation. I don't think it's a bad game. I, I, I had fun. So like I said, I had fun with Roller Champions. I actually came prepared to crap all over this game because I had not heard of it and the reviews I saw were instantly negative. So I wasn't really expecting what I got. Now that's not to say this is the best game I've ever played. It's just to say that I played a round or two and I had fun. The soundtrack was great and the core concepts and mechanics of the game are pretty good. But it's not always my opinion that matters. It's really up to the community. So let me know what you think about this down below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.